This video presents a humanoid two-arm system developed as a research platform for studying dexterous two-handed manipulation. The system is based on the modular DLR Lightweight Robot 3 and the DLR Hand 2. Hands and arms are combined with a 3 degrees of freedom movable torso and a visual system to form a complete human upper body. The mechanics has been designed such that the system is able to reach objects on the floor as well as on a shelf of 2 meters height. It also has anthropomorphic kinematics to allow research on bimanual grasping. In the overall system, the robot hardware is connected to a hierarchy of sophisticated control algorithms running in the kilohertz range. Moreover, a tight coupling to higher level modules for user interaction perception and planning is provided. Our agile robot development software concept allows for a flexible mapping of this decentral fine granular net of communicating modules to distributed computing resources. Rapid and agile development is enabled by the modularity, ease of use and open interfaces to tools like MATLAB Zimolink. In this simple example a sine wave generator is connected to the position control subsystem. After automatic code generation, the model is executed with a real robot in the loop. Several passivity based controllers that yield different impedance behaviors have been realized. Here we show gravity compensation. In this mode, no impedance is active and the arm and torso are moved freely in space. A spatial coupling impedance can be defined between the antifactors of the arms. This means that while the arms and the torso are moved around, the relative pose of the two arms does not change. This property may be used to define internal impedance forces between the arms. For instance, three soccer balls may be manipulated in this way. In this example, spatial impedances are added to control the pose of the antifactors. The impedances are chosen to be compatible with the coupling impedance. This behavior is used to empty a trash bin. The hands perform a predefined power grasp in joint level impedance control. The performance of an object level control law for two-handed manipulation is here demonstrated. A spatial spring is attached to the object superimposed by coupling and connecting impedances that realize the grasping force. Note that all fingers, arms and the torso contribute to the object motion. Interaction with Justin is also possible. Here null space motions are shown with respect to the given task. Hold the pose of the object. Here a disturbance observer is used to estimate external forces applied to the robot. It uses the joint torque to decouple the motor and rigid body dynamics. The result of this estimation modifies the time scaling of the trajectory generator. This allows the user to push the robot back and forth along the desired trajectory. With our task-oriented programming environment, the robot can be commanded on a high level of abstraction. The framework allows to integrate the skills just shown into more complex tasks. Predefined tasks are adapted to changing environments through a world model that is updated on demand by an object recognition module. Based on this information, trajectories are generated by a path planning module even in presence of obstacles. This demonstration shows the grasping and opening of an instant T bin. The task is composed of several basic skills defined in the programming environment. Note that for unscrewing the lid, the object level impedance controller is used. 